Cheers everyone, it's Howard again. Uh, I'm going to talk today a little bit about our attachments and also who we are. Uh, you know, I have this workshop coming up this Saturday. It's uh, August 11th. It's 11 o'clock in the morning over at the Keneally Acupuncture and Healing, Healing Light Resource Center. The topic of the workshop is going to be discovering purpose. Uh, we all had that question is, you know, why am I here? What's my purpose in life? And in the last blog, you know, you heard me talk about that there's no just one purpose. Um, our purpose is always changing. It's a meaning-making process, you know, for meaninglessness. That's how Viktor Frankl had uh, communicated or expressed the meaning of purpose itself. So we discover then that with our purpose, it's going to always be changing depending on who, who we are becoming or what we are becoming. So I wanted to talk about what Bob Proctor said. That, uh, one of my favorite lines by him, he says, in order to change yourself, you have to know who or what self is. I think he said who self is, but we have to know what self is as well. Um, and consciousness, when we understand what consciousness is, you know, we all know that consciousness exists. There's no one agreed upon term about consciousness, but we know that consciousness exists as maybe the infinite intelligence. Some people call it God or the divine or source. And when we understand who we are as that consciousness, and we understand that there's different levels of consciousness that we experience, okay? That there is this one unified field, but there are different levels of us understanding what this field is or what exists inside of this field. Does that make sense? You know, it's almost as if you were to look out of your house and you just had one tiny little window, okay? And you were only aware of only so much. You only knew what you can see out of that window. And then maybe you step outside of the house and once you walk outside of the house, much more life unfolds, right? Now you're much more aware of more things that are around you. Now there's another level of that as well, where now we know this consciousness that there's much more beyond what we can see. We don't know what it is, but we know that there's more there. We know that there's people who exist in the other side of the world, for example, right? So that's why I say there's different levels of consciousness, because what it is is as we step forward into our purpose, as we move forward into life, advance in life, then we understand that there's so much more to life. There's so much more that uh, we know is within us, our being, not this physical being, but our spiritual being that we're actually capable of achieving if we put our minds to it. Now, I know that's kind of deep, so let's take a deep breath real quick. And as we move forward, as we can let go of these attachments to all that we know or all that we've experienced, and then we discover much more of our self. Does that make sense? You discover so much more of who you are or what you are made of. I don't really care for using the word who, because then we make things too personal. All right, then we start looking for physical aspects within ourself as well. And we all know that <laughs> underneath this uh, body, is just, or within this body itself, is this vibrating energy. If you take it underneath a powerful enough microscope that there's really nothing physical about it. All right? Quantum physicists have even shown that about the body. So we understand that there's much more to what we are, what we're capable of achieving, that we are this consciousness itself, that we are this unified field of intelligence. All right? And if you can imagine like this backyard here as a unified field, imagine it with no trees, no wall, no plants, but it was just this electromagnetic, electrostatic field of energy. And the second that you, that more power enters into one spot, even over on, uh, where's my finger here, over on this side, okay? Once more power is entered here, we start to see a whole effect across this whole entire field. Now, the more power that gets put into something, just like focus, what happens? We discover much more about it. So that's the note, that's the message I want to leave you with today, is, uh, as we move forward, you know, as we can center our focus on what we think that we, at least think what we want, and move forward in that, that direction, we're going to discover much more of what we're capable of achieving. And we'll discover much more of the resources that are available, whether it's money, people, events, um, you know, infinite number of things can come up. And so what we have to do, though, talking about attachments, is we have to let go of our attachments, our attachment to expectation, our attachments to people, our attachments to love, <laughs> even. You know, love is a wonderful thing, but our attachment to it is not so wonderful. Because then once we think that it's gone, then we feel that we don't have it anymore. And that's not true, right? You know that, that love is within you. The same thing with happiness. If we continue to uh, 
attribute happiness to external lust, then we're always trying to get, 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 get. I just discussed that in the last blog, too, on striving to arriving, on ambition to meaning. Right? Discovering that it's all within, again, not this physical body, but it's all within who you are, what you are, as this consciousness. You got that? And so pay attention to, from now until this weekend's workshop, what is it that you're attached to? Are you attached to receiving money in a certain way? Are you attached to how people are supposed to behave in life while you're driving on the street that they're not supposed to cut you off? We have these attachments and then we get upset when these things happen, right? So we have to learn to let go of these attachments. We have to understand that people are what they are and they're going to do what they do depending on their level of consciousness. And we'll discuss much more what this consciousness is in the Discovering Purpose Workshop this Saturday. So again, if you haven't RSVP'd yet, go, uh, you can call 661-252-4103. You can register with the Healing Light Resource Center. Again, it's a small room and only sees about 20 to 25 people. So if you're going to show up, I encourage you to RSVP ahead. And if you can't show up, that's okay too. At least you get this wonderful message message and you get to be aware of these things that you're attached to. Maybe you're attached to how your kids are supposed to act. You're, suppo you're attached to how you should be as a, a man or a woman, um, as a certain role that you play within your work or even a husband or a wife, a mother or a father. And realize you got to let go of those attachments. So you are who you are. But in order for you to grow, you have to know who you are. You have to know what, what you are, right? If you have any questions, feel free to send them at info at howardcramptonjr.com. And you can leave a voicemail message, too, with me at 661-524-6093. And I encourage you to make it to the workshop this weekend. You know, it's a wonderful workshop. i got five keys I'm going to be presenting to you on how you can discover your purpose. Uh, if you want more information about that, you can go to the events section of my website at howardcramptonjr.com and find more information about what the workshop entails there. I'll talk to you soon. I uh, hope to see you around the website and uh, corresponding to all your questions and posts on the website. Talk to you soon. Cheers.